Hey guys, Mythos here. So you know in those games and like Nazi zombies where you were able to use the zombies that are in the game to break down different barriers and other stuff like that. Well I took my best shot at recreating that in Minecraft. So we'll be taking a look at that today. You'll see I have these planks set up in front of me. This can be done with any block you want. It's pretty simple, it's just a matter of changing the ID in the command block. But what happens is we spawn in these zombies. I'm gonna spawn in a ton of them just to speed up the process. And then we'll all just run over to these blocks and start attacking them. So, they kind of move across to attack different blocks or what have you, and eventually, um, you'll see what happens. I spawned a good few in, so it speeds up the process. There you go. The, the walls break, which is great. We'll just take out the zombies here just to clear up some space. So, what's going on here? Well, let's take a look at the redstone. The redstone starts here with a simple command that spawns in a villager. That's what the zombies attack. The zombies are not attacking blocks. This is not some dark voodoo. But the villager does have quite a lot of effects. It's spawned in with a movement speed, base 0.001, which means it can't move, knockback resistance 1, and a max health of 100. 100 is perfect for what I need it for. It also has a potion effect of 14, which is invisible, and a duration of 3217, which means it is infinite. And ambient here just means that it does not display the particles for the for the potion. Or yeah, the potion. So what this command block does is it just fills in the door. It just fills in those uh, planks you saw, and if you want to press that button, powers that repeater too, and the, the planks are back. So we go into this part here. This looks a bit more complicated, but it could be really simplified down. Um, I'll probably just use this design because it's much easier though. So it starts with this clock here. This clock comes around to this and places that redstone block, and also places uh, fills up with air. The reason I'm using two, com uh, two command blocks like this, and... Uh, and not just feeding into this one command block, is because I'm gonna have to change this to where this second number actually extends, because we're gonna need a row of about six of these at the same time. And using just a regular clock like this wouldn't be the most efficient way of doing that, so, so we can run um, a lot of redstone off one clock. So I didn't wanna just de designate clocks to two different components of it. So this tests for the villager over there, tests at the exact coordinates with a radius of five. I could lower that to two or three, but um, it wouldn't work because I needed to spread the whole way across to here. So the villager actually spawns. You can see the villager is spawned. I don't know why that is because the planks aren't here. But we'll just go ahead and kill him. Particles go off. Um, but we need it to reach one, two, three, four. And just to be on the safe side, I put it here. And it also reached over here. So we go back here. Once that test is successful, it depowers this uh, torch. So if we go ahead and we just summon in the villager again. You'll see that the torch is not powered now, which means these command blocks are not getting any signal. This one is what causes the particles. It's just a particle, a huge explosion, and then the coordinates, the size, the length, and how long I want it to play for. Pretty simple. And then this one just fills the, the planks over there with air, which is, again, extremely easy to do. It's just a fill command, um, which is quite simple, quite easy, quite straightforward. So... I'm going to be using this for a project that I have in mind. Um, it's going to take me quite a while to do it, so probably isn't a good idea to expect it in the next couple of weeks, but on this channel I'm going to be posting a lot of command block snippets and stuff from um, in different aspects of the game, and eventually along the lines I will, um, I will be unveiling what the game is, or I might hold like a little competition or something where if someone can guess what the game is, because it is a pretty well known game among the, the gaming community. Um, I will probably just give them a little bit of a prize or something. I don't know. So, I hope to see you again sometime. If you like this video, a thumbs up rating is greatly appreciated. This is the first video on my channel. Um, I do have a second channel, or a, a main channel though. Um, I'm just starting to upload this command block stuff to this one. Because I really enjoy it and it's something I want to get better at. So, I'll see you in the meantime. I hope you have a great day. And take care. Bye bye.